everyone, Sponge Murphy here. How are you all getting on? So today I'm going to be reviewing this brand new Age of Sigmar book. It's the brand new Grand Alliance Chaos book. Uh, for those of you who don't know it, this is basically everything that Chaos has for Age of Sigmar. With all the war scrolls and battalions in it. Um, it's an absolutely huge book with tons of information. There's like 300 plus pages. There's 156 war scrolls. It really is a jam-packed book. Um, I got this a couple of days after it came out. and I didn't really get to have a proper look at it until the last couple of days. So um, you know, I'm looking forward to sharing some thoughts on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to review the book. I'm going to change the camera. I'm going to have a look at the war scrolls and everything that's in it. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to share some thoughts about the pros and cons of the book and uh, you know like would I recommend it and everything like that so uh, with that said let's have a look what's in it okay so first up we have the cover it's soft cover it's not hardback and um, it would have been great to have this in hardback but uh, you know soft cover is fine you have a really nice cover on it of Archeon um, and that's pretty much it you know it's nice and simple it does the job you have some inside picture out here of some models uh, you get your contents which is a lot there's so much stuff in this book you have a list of all the factions here for the chaos armies and um, how to use this book and um, what information on war scroll battalions you have some art here which I know it's in the corner you can't really see too much but uh, there's not a whole lot of artwork in this but the pictures that are in it like that are really nice looking and um, you have your war scroll information and some hints and tips down so then you start off first with the ever chosen faction which is Archeon um, the lord of the end times pretty much um, you get a little bit of information about it here talks just a small bit about it um, and then first up you get your battalion um, most of, not most of them, well a good few of these have a battalion in their factions uh, the ever chosen one, the Archeon one is pretty much what's in the faction you get to have Archeon one gaunt summoner of Zinch and one unit of vanguard which is pretty much the only thing in the faction there's three war scrolls in this you get Archeon you get a big full page picture and you get all his rules with the keywords on the bottom uh, you have your vanguard with another big full page picture which is really nice to look at and you get your gaunt summoner of Zinch so and that's pretty much it for the ever chosen faction and um, you have one battalion and three war scrolls and one character which is obviously Archeon um, the next one then is the slaves to darkness uh, as far as I can make out this is pretty much like the warriors of chaos guys um, you get three battalions in this you get a bit of information about Kravitz Reavers um, if you want to try and make them up um, and you get kind of like a table here on how the army kind of is formed and shaped so you get three battalions you get a good few in this one you get god sworn champions of ruin which basically you get one demon prince uh, or chaos sorcerer lord and a couple of units then to choose from in the list the other battalion is god's wrath warband which is pretty much headed by um, a chaos lord on a manticore and then you get the final uh, battalion the rune bringer warband which is pretty much like a mounted kind of little unit or a battalion you get your chaos lord on demonic mount um, and then you go to the war scrolls it starts off with the demon prince there's 16 war scrolls in this so there's a good few to choose from you get your demon prince with a whole list of uh, keywords for which god you choose you get corn, nurgle, zinch or salamesh and uh, you get your chaos lord on manticore which is really nice looking picture here you get all the rules, you get your Chaos Sorcerer uh, Chaos Sorcerer Lord on Manticore uh, which are both from the same kit I'm pretty sure uh, you get your Chaos uh, Sorcerer Lord Exalted Hero of Chaos um, your Lord of Chaos and your Chaos Lord on Demonic Mount uh, Chaos Warriors, Chaos Chosen Chaos Marauders which I'd love to see new models for them uh, Chaos Marauder Horsemen, Chaos Chariots, Chaos Gore Beast Chariot. Then you get the Chaos War Strong with a big lovely picture here, a big full page of a uh, to look at. 
which is really nice looking. I love that model. You get your Chaos Knights, Chaos Spawn. And that's pretty much it then for the Slaves to Darkness. Um, you get three battalions, 16 War Scrolls for them. Uh, no characters. Uh, yeah, no characters in that one. But you get a lot of War Scrolls to choose from. And then you get to have a look at the Corn Bloodbound, which are the guys that came with the starter set. So I'd be pretty familiar with these. Uh, you get one battalion, which I'm pretty sure is what you get in the starter set. Uh, you get a Might Lord of Corn, you get a Blood Secretor, Blood Stalker, one unit of Blood Warriors, one unit of Blood Reavers, and one unit of Kagaraths. So that's pretty much the, the starter set, I'm pretty sure. Um, you get 17 War Scrolls in this, so again, there's a lot to choose from from the Corn Bloodbound. Uh, you get your Mighty Lord of Corn with the Flesh Hound, um, Lord of Corn on Juggernaut. Exalted Deathbringer, Scar Blood Rat, um, Aspiring Deathbringer, you get your Skull Grinder, which I like that model I want to get now eventually, and the Slaughter Priest, I like that one as well. Uh, the Blood Secretor, the Blood Stalker, Valkyrie the Bloody, uh, Blood Reavers, Blood Warriors, Ratmongers, your Mighty Skull Crushers, you get your Skyla, the Anfing. Anfingrim, basically Skyla. You get your units of Kagarats, and um, you get your Skull Reapers, which I'd like to get as well. I like them guys. And that's pretty much it then for the Corn Bloodbound. You get one battalion, seventeen War Scroll, ooh, seventeen War Scrolls, and three characters to choose from. And um, you have Scar Bloodrat, Falkyria, and Skyla, and the characters to choose from. So again, you know, that's a pretty decent sized faction. There's a lot of War Scrolls to choose from in that. And then we have the Demons of Corn. I'm very unfamiliar with anything to do with demons. Um, but there is there is a decent amount in this as well. You get one battalion. Um, you get a bit of information about the Skull Hunger Host and how the demons work here with the Blood Thirsters. Uh, nice little bit of information there uh, to read. Um, yeah, so you get the first battalion, well the only battalion, the Blood Host of Corn, uh, which is led by a Blood Thurster, and then you get to choose seven or more units with any of the keywords in it there. Um, we start off with Scarbrand, fantastic model. The rules look fantastic on paper, I don't know what he's like to use, but he's a, a great character for definite. Um, and then you get your couple of Blood Thurster choices. Um, you get your Blood Thurster of Unfettered Fury, Blood Thurster of Intense Rage. Uh, or not Intense. Incent, Incent Rage. Uh, you get your Rat of Corn Blood Thurster. And then that's pretty much it then. So you get three choices for your Blood Thursters. Um, great looking model. Um, then we have Skull Taker. Uh, Blood Master Herald of Corn. Which I'm not too sure if, you, if what characters are wanting this. You have your Skullmaster, Herald of Corn, Blood Tron. I'm not mad fond. I'm not too fond of some of these guys. Um, you have your Blood Letters, which are like a standard for them. Uh, blood Crushers, which are nice looking. You have your Flesh Hounds, uh, Karanak. I've never even seen anyone using them before talking about them. You get your skull cannons, which were huge in 8th edition. And that's it then. So you get 1 battalion, uh, 13 war scrolls, and you get 2 characters. Um, so it's a decent size to choose from there with the Demons of Corn. Um, next up we have the Zinch Arcanites, which is pretty small, but they're nice looking. I've never really been a big follower of Zinch, but after looking through this, I like this stuff. Um, there's no battalions in this. It starts off with a Zinch Chaos Lord on disc of Zinch, which has some really nice looking rules, nice looking model. Um, you have a Zinch Sorcerer Lord, and then you have a uh, Cursling Lord of Zinch, which I'm not sure if it's a character or not. Um, but he's there anyway. He's survived apparently from Maid Edition. Uh, really nice looking model. The rules are okay. Um, and that's it then for the Zinch Arcanites. 
And then you have Demons of Zinch, which are completely out of uh, my range altogether. I'm very unfamiliar with these. Um, you have your kind of army structure again, and then you get uh, you get your one battalion. You get your change host of Zinch, so you get that's pretty much led by a lord of change, which is there. Um, really nice looking model. Um, you know it's great to see that one making it through. It's really nice looking. Then you have Kyra's Fate Weaver, which is really nice again. Uh, great looking model. Uh, Heralds of Zinch, the Changeling. Um, which, yeah, the change. I'm not sure if that guy's a character, but he's pretty nice looking. You have your Herald of Zinch on Burning Chariot. Uh, Herald of Zinch on Disc. Exalted Flamers of Zinch. The Blue Scribes. Flamers of Zinch. Screamers of Zinch. Pink Horrors of Zinch. Burning Chariots of Zinch. And that's it then. Uh, Maybe I might have went through them a little bit fast, but I'm pretty unfamiliar with them. Um, you know, but they're great. You have a battalion, you have 12 war scrolls, and up to two characters. You have um, Kairos, and I think the Changeling might be a character. It's not really too... Um, doesn't make it well known if he's a character or not. Um, next up, we have the Nurgle Rotbringers. Uh, definitely some of the coolest models out there. Um, let me see. You have one battalion, so you get the Blight Guard, which is a Lord of oh, a Lord, one Lord of Plagues. You get your Rot Bringers with one Rot Bringer Sorcerer and four units of Putrid Blight Kings. So that's your battalion. Then you have ten War Scrolls, and this this one has a lot of characters in it. You have the Glockkin, um, Marbridix, Twice Born. Freaking time the page here. Uh, Bloab, Rat, Rat Spawn, really nice looking models, I absolutely love them. Argot's Demon's View, and then you kind of go to the normal characters. You get Cut Rat Spew, and um, you get the Harbinger of Decay, which I'm pretty sure that had a different name in the edition, I can't remember what it was. I think it was just a Norgal Lord on Horse or on Sun Mount or something like that. You have Festus Leech Lord, great looking character. Uh, and then you get your Lord of Plagues then as well. Um, then you have your Rockbringer's Sorcerer. And then you have the awesome, super awesome looking Putrid Blight Kings. Um, so 10 War Scrolls, 1 Battalion and plenty of characters in that to choose from. 6 characters. So that's a great little faction there. Definitely a, a fan favourite even. Um, and then you have the Demons of Nurgle. Um, these guys are really awesome. If I had to choose any demons, it would definitely be the Nurgle uh, guys. Um, you get one battalion. You get the Taliban of Nurgle, which is led by a great and clean one, which is here. Not too mad on the model. You know it. You know to be honest with you, it represents Nurgle really nice because it does look pretty rotten and sickly. But uh, you know it's fine. Uh, you have your great and clean one. Then you have Epidemus. Which is really nice looking. Your Herald of Nurgle. And um, what's next? And then you have your Plague Bears of Nurgle. Which for some reason is the only page in the book which has a normal picture and then it has like different versions of them. Uh, like a Piper. It shows them like different skin color. It shows a Piper individually, Plague Ridden, and Icon Bear. Um, they're definitely something you'd want to add to your. Nurgle list, I think they're great looking. And just looking at the little Nurgling guys here, really nice. Uh, you have your plague drones on Nurgle, which are always great to look at. Your beasts of Nurgle, which are weird. Uh, and then I think that's it. And the Nurglings, yeah. So the Nurglings are the final ones. So that's you get one battalion, um, seven war scrolls, and one character. Um, with the character. No, there's two characters in that. Sorry, you have Epidemus. Epidemus. What was the other one? Oh no, it's just Epidemus, sorry. Yeah, so you get your one character from them. Uh, great little faction. Uh, and then we have the Host of Slanesh, which there is a lot of information here. I haven't really read through it. But it's there. Then you get 
there's no uh, there's a bit of information here about the unbound reveal or reveal even but there's no battalion they just go straight into the war scrolls uh, you get your keeper of secrets um, herald of Slaanesh the mask of Slaanesh and I was reading this guy he's pretty cool I don't remember seeing that model but it's really nice looking um, hell flares of, Sl of Slaanesh herald of Slaanesh and secret chariot herald on exalted seeker chariot it's a big freaky looking model um lord of slanesh and demonic mount fiends chaos lord of slanesh which that guy was a character um i can't remember his name in eighth edition but he was a character for definite and um, now he's just a slanesh lord demonets seekers which are great looking uh, Seeker Chariots of Slaanesh Then you have Exalted Seeker Chariots of Slaanesh Pretty weird looking man, it's pretty big looking Hell Striders of Slaanesh And that's pretty much it So uh, you get 14 War Scrolls in Slaanesh 1 In the host of Slaanesh um, Really nice looking, kind of pink Kind of purpley colours go really well And then we're on the Demons of Chaos uh, it's not a big one, it's pretty small. You get your Furies, you get a bit of information. Um, you have the picture of Bellicor, which I'm pretty sure that is Bellicor. Uh, you get your Demon Prince again, which are different um, marks or which are different god you get to choose from. You get your Soul Grinder, and then you get Bellicor himself. Uh, Chaos Demon Prince. So, uh, four war, war Scrolls and one character. Um, and then we move on to the Bray Herds. Now this is where it got a little bit confusing for me. I didn't know the Beastmen were kind of broken down into different factions. So you have the Bray Herds. You get one battalion. You get the Wildstalker Bray Herd, which is led by a Beast Lord. And there you have your Beast Lord. Um, Great Bray Shaman. You get your Gores. You get your Ungores. You get your Beast of Gores. Ungore Raiders. Um, Tuscore Chariots I think there's one more no, and that's it um, 7 War Scrolls no characters in that um, and then what I moved on to next was if I can turn the page the Monsters of Chaos oh no sorry it was the War Hearts the War Hearts which is um, there's 4 War Scrolls and these are the, basically the big kind of beastie guys of the the old beast men. So you have the Doom Bull, which is your hero. You get your Bull Bulgors, which someday I will get around to doing a unit of them. I think they're fantastic to look at. I think they're awesome. And um, then you get your Gorgon, um, and then obviously you get your Side War as well. So that's it. You get four War Scrolls for the War Hordes, and then we move on to the Monsters of Chaos. Um, there's a good few in this instance monsters you know you get nine war scrolls uh, you get your centigores you get your resigores chaos warhounds you get your harpies and um, your jabber slice your old beastman jabber slice and um, your chimera or chimera whatever you want to pronounce it and um, really great looking model you have your slaughter brute which i like which I have your mutate mutilith vortex beast, which I don't like. Um, you have your cockatrice, uh, and that's it then for the monsters of chaos. There's nine war scrolls all together, so you get a, a decent amount to choose from there. I don't think is there a hero model in that? Mm, no, no, there's not. Um, and then next up you have the Chaos Gargants, which is the Giants. Um, which the idea of having a, a giant faction is absolutely fantastic. It's just one war, war scroll, it's just a giant. Um, I would have loved to have seen more options of a giant. Um, you know, if you want to have a faction of these and you have to have a hero or a lord. With, it, with that keyword you can't have these but I think they're great to have a faction of the giants and then we move on to the thunder scorn which is just two scrolls two war scrolls you get your dragon ogres which are really nice looking models and you get your dragon ogre shagoth so you do get a hero with that 
uh, no battalion but it's just two war scrolls there uh, then finally my favourite part we get onto the Skaven um, there's a good bit of this broken up there's a hell of a lot less characters um, but it's still a whole lot of stuff in it so first up you have your master clan which are pretty much your high up guys um, you have your grace here and then you get tranquil and bone ripper which is a box I'm still wanting to get uh, you have Lars Screech Farming King great looking model uh, you get your Screaming Bell and then you get your Vermin Lord Warps here um, you get 5 War Scrolls and 2 characters so that's pretty much your the higher up art, uh, higher up guys of the scale and then we move on to the Clan Verminous um, which is you have 4 War Scrolls you get your Vermin Lord Warbringer you get your Skaven Warlord your Clan Rats there's no Skaven Slaves in it anymore it's just the Clan Rats now uh, so 4 War Scrolls for Clan Verminous Clan Skyr which is the kind of the guys that can do weapons and um, warp stone weapons and all that stuff um, you get one battalion with these uh, you get a bit of information about Clan Skyr how the hierarchy works um, then you get your Clan Skyr battalion, uh, which is basically led by an Arch Warlock, which is the old Ick Claw model, if you can see it in there. Uh, you get 12 War Scrolls, you get your Arch Warlock, which was Ick Claw, you get your Warlock Engineer, Engineer. Um, these are all like, your special weapons things from 8th edition, you have your Poison Wind Mortar, your Doom Flare your rattling gun team which I still want to get uh, warp fire thrower team um, warp grinder weapon team skyer acolytes there so they were your old globe ears just a different name on them now and you have your storm fiends which which I really want to get I think they're absolutely fantastic looking um, Warp Lightning Cannon, you get your Doom Wheel, so you're getting all your kind of um, your best weapons, guys, with these. You have your Warp Lock Giselles, and that's pretty much it then for Clan Skyr. It's the biggest one of the Skaven, uh, with one battalion. It's the only Skaven, if I'm just looking through my notes here, it's the only Skaven one with a battalion um, until it gets a, a Battle Tome book. But you get 12 war scrolls. It's the, it's, it's the biggest faction in Skaven one here actually with 12 war scrolls. So there's definitely a lot, a lot to choose from that. Uh, then you have one of my favourites, Clan Molar. Um, kind of small, but you know it's good. You get your Pack Master. You get your Giant Rats. And you get your Rat Ogres. You get your Rat Swarms. And then finally you get your Hell Pit Abomination. Just five war scrolls, but that's pretty much it then for Clan Mortar. Um, yeah, there's no characters in the rest of these. Then I just trying to think, was there a character for that? But there wasn't. Uh, Clan Pestilence, your poison type of guys. Um, you get six war scrolls in this. You get the Vermin Lord Corruptor. Uh, you get your Plague Priest, your Plague Sensor Bears, and I like how they've painted some of them in yellow on this. Just something different. A different kind of paint scheme can go a long way. Uh, you get your plague furnace. You get your plague monks, and I think that could be it. Is it? And you get your plague claw catapult. Um, yeah, so you're getting all your kind of poisony guys with these, your plague monks and all that. And then we move on to the final one of the whole book, Clan Ashen. Uh, definitely a fan favorite. I would love to see new models for these coming out. I'd love to see new units, you know. Um, you have your Skaven Assassin as your hero. And then you have your Vermin Lord Deceiver. And then you have your Night Runners. You have your Gutter Runners. Which badly need new models. And that's pretty much it. I would love to see new models for these. Um, but that's a different story for a different day. And then that's pretty much it then. The last couple of pages are just the rules that go over. Um, and then you have like two final pictures then of the ever chosen and the black king guys and all that 
so uh, so that's it that's what's in the book uh, 156 war scrolls with 11 battalions uh, 300 plus pages so let me check 303 304 304 pages so it's pretty impressive of what's in it and um, yeah so that's it so now I'm just going to share some thoughts on it some pros and cons and what I thought of the book okay so now that we've had a pretty good look through the book um, it's time to look at some of the pros and cons that come with it uh, the pros first it's definitely got it to be the price this came at 26 euro which is incredibly cheap for a GW book especially one that's this size like this is a heavy book you know um, I, like considering battle tomes I think the Seraphon one was 33 I think that was a cheaper one the other ones were like 35 38 I think so this is definitely in the price range of everyone and um, like it's 20, still 26 euro for a book um, but it's it's pretty good in my eyes so the price on it is definitely uh, thumbs up for me um, the second one this is 300 pages of chaos goodness so if you collect chaos and that means skaven now as well so if you're like me I don't really have any chaos guys I'm just pretty much mostly skaven um, on the chaos side this is something you, if you must have if you're a collector um, especially a chaos player it'll, it'll open up so many options to you all the different war scrolls there's 156 war scrolls in this it's absolutely huge so you get to see all your chaos guys all in one book as well um, it has, and like I said it has number 3 would be every war scroll for chaos is in this um, you know even the demon guys everybody's in it so that's uh, another plus um, fourth would be just you know the quality of the book itself it's not hardback but it's still pretty good you know it's one of those good books that's not going to fall apart the spine is pretty strong the pages are like really you know stuck in there um, and the quality of the photographs in this I know in the, like earlier we were looking at the pictures and everything it might be a bit darker but you're getting perfect quality pictures of the models and um, as well as the rules next to them so that's definitely a plus in my book and um, now the cons these aren't really as much cons as maybe things I'd like to see in the next one I know the death book is out by now so this is kind of something I'd like to see added in and um, to me this book is advertised as just a war scroll book and that's exactly what it is that's it says what it is and it is it and um, but what I'd like to see is like there's no fluff that's fine with me there's a little bit of information given before each faction you get like usually a two page thing but what I'd like to see is um, you have the likes of Scarbrand now I don't know much about Scarbrand I know a little bit of his backstory but there is no kind of story information about Scarbrand at all so what I would like to see is just a little column you know like you have on their web store when you're looking at the models there's like a uh, maybe about 10 15 lines or just a little bit of information about that character because there's not a lot of characters in this i think i added it up to 19 altogether for the chaos guys and um, so like what how like a little bit of information on 19 characters would definitely go a long way to adding into this and um, you know that's just enough fluff for what you need um, so I'd like to see that in the future ones now maybe you could see it in the death one and the destruction one since tomb kings are gone now you pretty much only have uh, vampire counts you know like Nagash and all and then with destruction just fix my notes here uh, with the destruction one you're just going to have ogres and oxen and goblins so you could see a little bit more information like that in, the, in their books um, uh, the other thing I'd like to see is more battalions and um, it's not really much of a problem because if you buy the battle tones for sorry, for the armies you get more battalions and everything and um, there is 11 battalions in this I would like to see a little little few more the Skaven only have one which is a little disappointing and they don't have a battle tome yet out so and um, that would have been cool but pretty much that's all the cons on it and um, if you take this book for what it is it is a war scroll book and that's it like there's two ways of looking at it it's a cool book with all the war scrolls for a tournament player it's brilliant you have everything you need 
uh, even if your opponent is playing Chaos, you have to have one book with everything in it. Um, but then you can look at it the other, the other way and say, well, the rules are free on their website, which is true. But I think the price for this is for a 300 page book at 26 euro with really good quality pictures. Uh, you know, it's a really good book. I think it's definitely worth it. So, uh, yeah, so that's it. That's the review for the Chaos Grand Alliance book. Uh, hopefully I think I did go on a little bit too long but we got to get we got to have a really good look at each page in the book flicking through you got to see everything that's in it uh, hopefully I didn't leave anything out um, up next I would like to get the deck book uh, that's only 13 euro that's incredibly cheap it's only like one army and I'd imagine it's about half the size of this but then um, if, it, if it goes on how I think it is there's only going to be four of these books so I can only imagine the alliance one would be this size again. Um, so you're talking like under 80 euro for like four big books, which is fantastic. Uh, definitely two thumbs up for this book. I love having it. It's going to go up on the shelf. It's going to go in my shed. It's definitely going to be a cool collector's item to have. So uh, hopefully I didn't leave nothing out. You guys make sure to let me know uh, what you thought of the Grand Alliance review book. Um, if I left anything out, let me know. And um, thanks for watching. I'm looking forward to getting some feedback. Leave a comment below, hit the like button, and subscribe if you haven't. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next update.